If you believe it, it will happen. If you don't, it won't. This is a phrase some time ago and I just thought that indeed I will make a video about this phrase because it's an interesting one. Why is that? Because having the belief and having the faith in your business, in your life, in whatever it is that you have set out to achieve will only happen if you firmly have the belief and trust that it will. So as a business owner, that is quite key. And indeed, I'm going to talk about three areas of this today. Hello, my name is Beatrice Yakubu. I am the founder of Simply Family Business. We help you, that's me and my children, help you to start a business or to grow your existing business with the support of your children. And the reason being that you get to work with your children and spend longer time together while creating an amazing, amazing wealth for yourself. Here is how it goes. In terms of business or anything that you've set out to achieve in this world hinges on the aspect of you having the belief and this firm faith that it will happen. So how would you do that? Number one, you need to cultivate the faith that, you know, this is possible. That is cardinal. If you do not think about the possibility, obviously that isn't going to happen. In fact, there was a, um, there is a, a, a famous quote or a famous saying about the Walt Disney. So if you haven't, uh, if you don't know what, who Walt Disney is, is the person who designed or um, crafted uh, uh, Disney World. So it's now all over the world, including Disneyland Paris. In terms of uh, him, apparently they, um, the project did not finish before he was taken ill and while in hospital, um, somebody told him whether it was his brother or you know a relation <laughs> a relation told him how beautiful the place is coming up as and it's unfortunate that he's not going to leave to see it and he said uh, if i did not see it i would not have designed it you know that's a powerful phrase if i did not see it i would not have designed it so in other for you to be able to achieve your desires in life you have to see it and how would you see it? By cultivating the faith that it is possible. It is possible to the extent that you believe it, that it is, there is no any other way that this can't happen. Because, um, and also an example is one of my, uh, my uh, friends back home in Ghana. Um, he used to kind of say certain things when we were young. He was at that point riding on a bicycle and having no money to his name <laughs> yet he was he was saying all these things anybody that you would listen to him at that point would have said that he was bragging uh, because he didn't have anything but he just exercised cultivated this unshakable faith in himself that he was going to be very very successful and i mean that because he, he didn't travel anywhere he stayed in ghana and he has become um, indeed successful. So cultivating the faith that what it is that you are thinking about or what you want to do is possible. That is very important. The next one is to exercise the faith. So it's not just activate or it's not just for you to have the faith, you need to exercise it. How would you exercise the faith? You need to start, number one, to uh, kind of think about uh, putting structures in place to get this working. Because in the first instance, uh, faith without works is dead. So you can't just say that I believe this will happen and then you sleep all day or you, for example, if you want to start a business uh, uh, alongside your work, you need to put the work in place at least a couple of hours a day uh, working on your business for it to kind of function. And without that, that is not, you know, you are not going to achieve results. So practicing or exercising that faith is important. And also the other thing that you need to do is to continuously affirm it to yourself because I believe, I believe, I believe in affirmations. Why? Because I know that if you don't affirm it to yourself, 
obviously there would come a time that you would begin to lose interest in this thing that you're doing but because you have affirmed it you would affirm it to this extent that you know come what may it might take long but you know that it is coming so it is very important that you um you affirm in fact there's a saying in the, in the village that sometimes uh, lies uh, when people um people who are good at lies can actually peddle lies to the extent that you know everyone will believe that is the truth so um that is the neg negative side of things as well but you can use that um kind of energy um to continuously affirm what it is that you believe and here is another thing my uh, one of my mentors i was uh, talking with her about this and um she said it is not a fake it until you make it idea it is about fitting it forward so i will repeat that again it is not about fake it until you make it as people will say it is about fitting it forward so whatever it is that you are going to achieve especially in growing your business and in making sure that your children kind of support you to grow that business it is a case of fitting it forward last but not the least is believing in yourself now I could not even express um, I could not I could not even express this um, family enough in terms of believing in yourself unfortunately for most of us it is not as if uh, we do we don't have the faith but it's just the believing in yourself is where I, things fall apart because guess what no one is gonna do it for you nobody is coming in fact uh oh this lady i forgot her second name uh something robbins is it mel robbins mel robbins uh, she, she, she has this thing that no one is coming um no one is coming to rescue you no one is coming to us uh, help you i mean people might help you but at the end of the day it is just you and you alone who has to uh, believe in yourself that you can make this happen and in terms of us who are believers in Christ yes your faith in the Lord is um, definitely has to be definitely unshakable but of course you have to believe that you can do it and indeed I believe that God will help you to do it so why don't we believe in ourselves sometimes it is not that you, you don't believe in yourself but remember that uh, sometimes your family can be in the way because it, it's, it's just natural that they want to support you or help you or help you and um, I mean save you from this um, thing that they haven't seen because sometimes it is not that ev not everyone will see your vision or not everyone will see what you are moving towards or what you are working on um, in, in the first instance when you see something that you believe that it can happen it is not everyone who has seen it plus they know that it will take work it might take even time of um, your time spending with them to do this activity to kind of get to the results those are all will all bring the insecurities will make the insecurities surface and indeed um, that will be a challenge for you your friends could be standing in the, in the way and in sometimes even even if you don't surround yourself with people who are like-minded you know you will just stop yourself out of it so indeed believing in yourself is important and i would say last but not the least you need to kind of invest in yourself because i believe that you can have all these things but when you lack the knowledge to do something no matter how determined you are it will be very very difficult for you to actually do it so investing in yourself is important and investing could be investing your time investing your money and also um yeah investing your time your money and your energy i would say to ensure that you kind of move forward with this idea so in a nutshell i would rephrase the, the um the the statement if you believe it it will happen if you don't it won't indeed for your business to grow you need to believe that it will grow and for your for you to be able to work with your children powerfully and create the wealth that you desire you have to believe that it can't happen because guess what it has happened for other people why not you thank you so much for watching my name is Beatrice Yakubu once again I subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are watching this on YouTube and indeed I welcome your way once again take care